My name is Liz Lamson, and I am a musician and an artist and a writer. I do a lot of different things, but um, lately I've been doing more visual art than, um, than I have in a long time, and I'm really enjoying it. Even through my whole um, experience as a mom, I've found that making time to create um, helps me stay sane, helps me stay happy, and brings me a lot of joy. So when I was a kid, I was probably like seven or eight, and I remember having this dream where I, I, I was a cartoon, but not just any cartoon, I was Timon from The Lion King, and he's this like super active meerkat who can jump and like flip and is, is just so agile and can just like be so fast. Anyway, and that dream to me, that was as good, if not better, than feeling like flying. I think that is the point when I decided that I wanted to be a cartoonist and an animator. But then towards the end of high school, I was doing really well playing the bass. I play the string bass. Here I play with the Ballet West Orchestra. I decided to study music in college instead of art. Um, and I remember people telling me, people would say, if you go into music, you can still do art on the side, or if you um, go into art, you can still do music for fun on the side. People often refer to activities like drawing or painting or making music or playing the guitar as hobbies. And, and yeah, those things can be hobbies, things that you do for fun. But for me, I feel that anything I'm doing that is creative, I feel like it's like my life's work. It's what defines me as a person, being a creative. Last year, 2020, um, George Floyd died, and then it's like my world exploded. Especially last year, it was a really interesting time being a woman of color in the state of Utah. There aren't a lot of um, people of color here, especially in the um, African American community. And I'm actually half black and half Korean. Um, so, and I have really struggled with understanding and appreciating my identity um, throughout my whole life. When Black Lives Matter really started heating up last year and Mayor Erin Mendenhall put out a call for um, submissions, um, she was looking for artists to paint a Black Lives Matter mural at City Hall. At the time, I it had been a while since I'd done um, much visual art, but I thought I'd just submit something because I I, I know that there aren't a lot of black people in Utah, and I, and I, and I have felt that sort of a, a responsibility to represent. It's not always very comfortable or uh, fun. <laughs> there are a lot of women of color who aren't represented, and um, I hope that I can maybe share some, some, some of their sentiments. And they, selected me to, to join the team of artists to paint the Black Lives Matter mural downtown. And that was a really <laughs> challenging and exciting project. Um, and that sort of opened a door to a lot of other opportunities. Lex Scott, who's the, the um, leader of the Black Lives Matter Utah chapter, she reached out to me um, asking if I'd be interested in helping to paint this bus. It is the Utah Black History Museum. This bus carries a traveling exhibit that can go to schools and community centers, really anywhere, and teach people black history and even more specifically Utah black history. But then people have seen this and then like Slug reached out to me and asked if I'd paint the, the April issue cover for the Amplify Black Voices um, issue. I love painting with bright colors, as you can see, like 
And so when I was approached with the, um, the project, I, was, I, I wanted to make it really bright and colorful. Painted like a group of young black people, um, sort of in a protest environment. I mean, protests have been a, a big thing in the past year. And I know that, that there are a lot of negative connotations with protests. So I wanted to show like, you know, these people on the cover sharing their voices, but like in a really positive way, like with a, with a positive vibe and showing that, um, that it's a, it's a good thing to speak out. For now, I just feel really lucky to be able to do art that people are seeing. Like to paint, to paint a mural or to paint a bus. Like this is art that's really in your face. It's big, you can't miss it. It's not like a five by seven hanging on a wall in a house that no one sees. You know, um, it's really cool to have art that's like out there, um, including the Slug Magazine cover. Like. It's, it's been really neat, like, some friends have texted me, like, holding pictures of the magazine at a coffee shop, you know, that they, they came across, and it's like, wow, like, it's out there, you know, people are seeing it, and, and I feel really lucky to, um, to have been able to do art that people are actually looking at. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like, as I've been doing this artwork, that you know, this and the Black Lives Matter mural especially, and even the cover of the magazine, like, it's showing that, one, that black people exist, <laughs> and two, that um, we have a voice, and, um, and, and we contribute to the world around us. And so here, like, on the bus, we've got all these historic figures, like Wallace Henry Thurman or Jane Manning James, like, like really influential figures in Utah history who are black, but that like a lot of people don't know about. <laughs> and uh, it's really awesome to, to draw attention to the accomplishments and value of black people in our state, in our, in our communities, in our neighborhoods, in our country, um, through art. <laughs>